keep up with my speed. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're back in uh, the Shattered Isles. And I uh, couldn't record part of the last session. Had a uh, hardware. Uh, but essentially, uh, Dandy's concertina was really out of tune. And uh, Mim, mm. Mim, despite not having a mem his memory, his mind was uh, sharp, sharp as sharpest thing I've ever seen. He uh, managed. To, uh, well, I made it to the bandit town. Well, I say bandit town. It's more like the the leftover thugs from Poland's uh, living it up at someone else's expense. And uh, Mim got himself a couple thralls, and uh, they to found the town for what's worth. Found the carpenter locked in a cell, and they decided to take it over. And now we're here with uh, who they believe, who everyone believes is famous, but they're. They've, they've also a few of them have kind of uh, got a hint of his uh, half orc self, and Mim with his thralls, he's taken over. He's killed Harley, and he's taken over the reins. We're gonna come back in uh, the battle's over. Harley's down, and everybody's uh, everybody's back. So, um, <clears throat> did what? Did we get the? Did the guys on the table trying to kill me stand down, or am I still fighting them? No, they stood down. Good. Yeah, I'd rather when, not be dead. When Harley went down, it was kind of like, well, you know, like they liked him, they got him free stuff, but uh, no, they backed down, and uh, they're they're not in the best of spirits since uh, you guys kind of came out of nowhere, killed a couple of their friends the other day at the, in Poe Lance with the help of the Gregory the Rat Man, and. Now you, Crispin Glover. Yeah. Now they've uh, you've killed Harley, who is the their main meal ticket. But good news is, is that part of the the bandit camp was uh, ale, and uh, it's been a while since you guys have been able to get some good ale. That's not a uh, Last tavern you went to is mostly just rat stew and some pickles. Oh man! Yeah, now we have good pickles for them. You do have good pickles, that's for sure. Can can we pilfer uh, Harley's corpse? Sure. You want to steal his corpse? <laughs> no. See if there's anything like in his pockets that might uh, help us. Uh, I mean, he's got. Yeah, what if he has something that's to, might help Tim's memory, Mim's memory? Uh, so he's got a, he's got a, uh, like the he had two scimitars, he had a couple daggers. You already took one that you caught out of midair. Um, and that is just little. Uh, I don't Does know. he have any money? Yeah, sure. Roll. Uh, I say we give it to his crew to make him happy. <laughs> what? You Take sure the money out of good his pockets character? and give them to the... I I thought I was, like, neutral or you chaotic are neutral. good or something like that. You're neutral. Yeah. The neutral thing to do is to split his money up evenly among everyone, including ourselves. No, we should, we should put it in a chest and bury it in case we need it later. No, doing that. Right. Let's go back. Let's take it back to the witch's hut. Give it to the witch. Does everybody want to roll no, persuasion no to see which way you want to go? 
I say we just give it to I'll him. Roll. I'll roll. I'll roll persuasion. You're mostly rolling against Mim, who thinks you should bury it. Do we all do it? Yeah, you gotta see who's uh, got the biggest voice. I think I got a good one. Nice one, goose egg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, last time I checked, it's, I have negative three persuasion, so... All right, so uh, so Pig, what do you want to do you with uh, shit last what do you want to do with this gold? I want to split it up with everyone. Okay. Uh, I'll roll. I'll roll to see how much he has. Um, oh. Ooh, never mind. You're gonna bury it. Come on. You're fucking stupid. Maybe we're gonna bury this money? That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard of in my entire fucking life. Do you have money set aside? I'm already going to rebel against the Bandit King, so. Retirement plan of any kind? Oh my god. So this is your uh, 401k here. No, we live fast, we die young, we don't retire. You don't even use money. Yeah. What is money when you open? What's happening? Alright, so you found a box. And, uh... You got the 68, uh... Gold pieces, uh... That, uh, Harley had. He had quite a... Quite a sum on him, because, uh... You know, he's been... Really swindling this town. And you take it in a box, and... Mim takes it and goes off into the the nearby woods and uh, buries it. Does he have a sh Does he have a shovel? How's he gonna bury it? He's I'm rocking him. He loves digging with his hands. Can't do that. I'm burying it on the beach. Oh, you're going to the beach? Well, okay. then it's just gonna wash away at high tide. Yeah. What's wrong with you? The sands shift. This is what Pirates of the Caribbean. Why don't we just fucking burn the chest with all the... Well, that wouldn't help, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and you know, Always burn the hot money. Put everyone in it. Give right. me paper money. And, uh... Uh, so... I don't know if you can see your name. But one of your thralls, Carly, she, uh... She tells you... After... She's like, Now that you're the leader, Mim, you can, uh... You can have, uh, Harley's hut. So, Harley's hut is this one. Maybe not a little bit. Yeah, Let's loot his hut. Let's see if there's any more money in it. Did we let the carpenter out? No, the dude's too obsessed with turrets. We're not letting him out. <laughs> it's his name. I I named him since the last session, so it's Doyle. He's the. Uh, Doyle's the carpenter. Doyle McBoyle? Yeah. Doyle McBoyle? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to try to convince him to leave him in there. I'm going to do another persuasion. Hopefully why, don't you, why don't you play a song I, I, to see if you can persuade I'll him? I'll leave it up to you. I'm going to leave him there. You're going to leave it up to me? Yeah. You know him. I want to burn that set jail alive. Like, I want to burn it with him in it. <laughs> What? Uh, I don't know. It seems he likes toilets too much. He can be useful to it. I'll burn it, but I am gonna so, keep it in the. I'm gonna keep it in the background. Uh, money could have like been. The gold could have been useful too, but we fucking buried it. So <laughs> yeah, we buried like a bunch of dip well, yes. <laughs> What you not get about about four hundred one k plans? <laughs> I don't even put money into my four hundred one k plan. That's what I don't get about them. I think they're shit. <laughs> We're we're gonna be dead before that happens. It's not yeah, so I'm gonna live until I can use my fucking retirement. If we take the money with us, then when the tax collector comes, we have to pay on it. But because we put it away, we don't have to pay taxes on it. Can we just kill the tax collector? Okay, we're not there getting is anywhere. No, okay, there's no you burn it? body. That's why they have these bandits. There is no government. There is do no. Wanna, do you want to kill collector. the carpenter, Stefan, or were you? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go want... and I'm gonna tell him to I'm gonna go intimidate him. Do you want to go uh, open up some of these boxes of ale and wine, uh, t Mim, to uh, to celebrate your uh, new leadership? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. 
Okay, cool. So uh, spirits are spirits are uh, improving, uh, and uh, everyone's drinking around the table. Uh, what are Dandy, you doing? Dandy what are you went doing? over to the cell and yelled at Doyle and uh, made him not want to leave. So even if somebody opens his cell, I yelled at Doyle and I told him he has to let me use his shitter now, and I'm gonna let him out. <laughs> so, so, what, I'm intimidated. so I'm intimidating. Him. So Doyle's cell shitter. is unlocked, but he's afraid to leave it, and Dandy can go in whenever he wants to use the uh, the fine carpentry work. Uh, of his in-house like toilet. Uh, weapons in this hut. Maybe we should bury him for later. No, no more burying <laughs> shit. This is so yeah. stupid. We're gonna bury you. Fuck. Yeah, I'm about to revolt. About to be another bandit revolt. Oh jeez. Has even been an hour since the last one. Well, our new leader is full of shit. It's probably sweet. I'm almost dead. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna come. I'm going to this tent resting. I'm going into my house. You guys want to use the bunkhouse at all? I made a bunkhouse. I'm gonna sleep really? outside at the table. I put uh, the bunkhouse. so I put the houses down below the rest of the map, so they're all, it's all there, but you have to scroll down to see it. So the far left one is uh, Hartley's um, hut. So that's Mim's new. Um, oh, is, this bed, is this bed just laying on the ground? Uh, pretty much. I mean, it's 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 like a cot, so it's it's got a little bit of a structure under it, but it, it's nothing. It's nothing permanent. I can't sleep underneath it. I don't want to. Oh, you can't sleep underneath? Nah, I guess that's true. All right, so that I'm gonna I'm gonna drink a lot of ale and sleep at the table. All right. Uh, do you want to you want to search that chest beside Harley's bed, or are you just gonna let it go, Mim? It could be booby trapped. I'm the other man in the chest. <laughs> All right. So you still so your two thralls. That's uh, Carly and uh, Grango. Grango is your other thrall. What are their names again? Heckle and Jekyll. Can you guys see all their names? Or do I... No. Uh, I can't see anyone's names except mine and Dead Harley's. I can see I can all the... Friendly all of us and then Harley. Steven, you can't see anybody's? Yeah. I can see Mims as well, and that's it. Me, Mim, Harley, and Varys. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay, here we go. God damn it! My bad. I put all the names on them. I thought it, you guys What's could this see elevator them. music. Is someone listening to like jazz music? It's, it's no, not me. It's a weird sound effect for this game. It's definitely not me. Dandy, <laughs> the musician of the group. What jazz? Fuck you. <laughs> also, no. I have a. I have a. Uh, I have my speaker. My phone's propped against my speaker. If I was playing music, you guys would hear nothing but that. <laughs> um, it's not roll twenty. I just checked the jukebox. So everyone is. Uh, so what's everyone's plan now that uh, you've got free reign over this uh, bandit town? Mim's taking a taking a snooze. He wants to take a long rest. Bears doing the same. I'm sleeping as well. Bears, are you saying a prayer before you go to sleep? Of to course, you? I'm praying to the, since we're so close to the water. All right. Go ahead and just so roll a d20 down to see how it, how well sleep. your prayers are heard. Roll a d20. Yeah. Pray the water, my soul. Actually, I could probably keep. do a religion check. 
Oh, oh I thought you just said roll a 20. Uh, Usually Ryan gives them the B6, if you know what I mean. I'll give him the D1. Oh, oh, oh no. I don't even can make these like that. Of course they can. I'll send you some pictures. Oh, Please don't. There's no way you could have a one sided die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I beg to differ. Wrong D1. I beg to differ. Wrong D. Wrong D1, Tim. Wrong D1. No, I can't reach in right now. A ball. You could have a ball, just a number. It's the whole side. A ball? Yeah. <laughs> You won't, it would just go on and on. Yeah, but it would only ever be one number. All right, Tim can you see everybody's names? Welch, Hurley, Roland, Uchin, Grango, Har uh, Carly. Oh, I just realized Carly's name's really close to Harley. So I've got Hurley, Harley and Carly. That was not, that was not well planned. Oh, oh shit, they do have you roll a D1. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's a crit fail. What were you trying to do? <laughs> and you thought I was lying. I was trying to uh, beer bong some <laughs> ale. <laughs> crit fail. <laughs> Is it a critical fail or a critical success? I don't think. <laughs> well, it shows up red on my screen, so it must be a fail. But doesn't it show up red if you get a D20 as well? I think it's green. Uh, is it? Yeah, it shows up green. Anyway, can I have a rest so I can have my health back? Yep. You guys can take a long rest. Recover. And uh, you'll probably want to try and so figure out what you're what do I do? doing about uh, the, the second trade ship that's at port. What do I get for rolling for the religion or the... So, uh, you so you 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 prayer or kneeling, however you do your prayer, and uh, uh, you you have this you get this feeling, um, and it's so strong that you you almost feel like you can you hear a voice, and it's and it, it, it like appreciates. Um, what you did in Poe Lance and how you restored that well. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you inspiration because that was such a uh, in-character role, like in-character act you did. So, uh, you're going to, you get a, a free re-roll at some later time. I get to what? A free re-roll. Okay, I gotcha. You got a mulligan, basically. I think it's a water company. Oh, oh the, mull the mulligan man. Yeah. It's the mulligan man. <laughs> my mom tells me he's my dad. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gross. So what is uh? All right, so you got this. You got this. Uh, this bandit town and all these uh, these thugs. And uh, Dandy was drinking uh, quite a, quite heavily with uh, with uh, Welch and Hurley. And, uh, uh, turns out that uh. That Welch is uh, the son of the the chicken tower man, so uh, he he actually uh, sneaks feed and whatnot when it comes to the bandit town. He goes out of his way to sneak some to his to his father so that he can feed the chickens. And uh, Hurley just joined the thugs because he was he was hungry. And poor. I can't hear you. I keep getting a phone call.
Uh oh. Getting a phone call? Can everybody hear me, or is it just Snard that couldn't hear me? I think it was just Snard. Alright. So, he knows a little bit more about those characters. Uh, Carly couldn't stop talking to, uh, to, uh, Mim, and it turns out that Carly's grandmother was the owner of the Sacred Rose, so she has a really strong aversion to pickles, and she really hates Guinevere from Polance. She hates pickles? Yeah! Combined with the uh, the pickle business, really ruined the Sacred Rose uh, Gentlemen's Club, and uh, so her grandmother really instilled that in her mother. And her mother was incredibly poor, so she has a very strong aversion to pickles and everything related to what brought down the business. So the uh, the ships at port and waiting to be unloaded. What do you guys want to do? Oh, Mim, you're in charge. Mim is in charge. Let's say we steal the ship. You, you have a lot of experience sailing? I was on a boat once. It boomed down. <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. If I, if I remember, you, uh, you caught it on fire yourself. Andy was a sailor, apparently. He was on that boat. I assume he knows everything about it. Oh, dandy. I was the I was a but music man. I was a music guy. I didn't have any skills. You had to have picked up something. Uh, I know which side is starboard. He was the one who kept them in rhythm when they were rowing. Yeah. We just got to keep Our... one of them alive. The captain alive. So the the Are ship has it? nothing. To, the ship is just bringing supplies. We can just take the supplies. Or were they I working mean, with Harley? I thought they, they were, were working with Harley. Like so, yeah, I thought he was we'll like middle man. I say we explain that what happened. Alright. And then no, fuck! We're not stealing the ship. We're not doing right. the fight again. So you want to walk down the regional? Because the, so the the bandit town is a little bit uh. Away from the port, they uh, they wanted to build it like kind of behind this mountain so you couldn't see it because they were trying to keep up the illusion that uh, everything was going straight to Polance. So, you guys want to go to the port? Are you all going to the port? Yeah. All right. Hopefully it named them everywhere. It did not. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Give me a minute to uh, get your posse together. What was that? Give me a second and I'll, I want to... I want to get your posse together. Alright, so you're at the port town, you see the ship, 
It's uh, it's loaded up with uh, with guards. Um, there's a couple. You have a couple wagons and uh, stables in this uh, main building. Seems to be the primary spot for uh, unloading and loading the goods up to move to town. Who even Daff came? So did you, uh, you did you tell uh, your uh, minions th what your plan was? You plan to take the ship? What? I thought we were just trading. Oh, uh, are you just trading? We're just gonna talk to him first. Oh, uh, okay. I not try to take over the ship. We'll we'll see what happens. Well, you better not be throwing fireballs <laughs> that are missing this time. <laughs> hey, I'll take point, guys. Don't worry. I'm gonna introduce myself first. Uh, oh, roll right. roll a deception check, right guy, or not, right guy, dandy. What? Why? For your disguise. What? I have to do that now? I mean, it's supposed. To... Okay, you're good. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up to them and break the ice by performing. All right, let's hear. Go it. very badly. Oh, uh, I didn't. I didn't do a very good roll. It's a, it's a solid the roll. Local, a local favorite. It sets a it sets a nice uh, mood. Macarena, hey, Macarena, hey Macarena. If you're speaking Orcish, you might want to be careful because if somebody recognizes the dialect, yeah. it's a not a very popular song, so they wouldn't have heard it. Okay. Music? No, they didn't know that one. Alright. So. He. He says. He says, Halt! Where's Harley? He retired. Retired? He seemed, he, to, uh, in the he seemed to be a really, really good at his job. <laughs> Roll of persuasion. Okay. Uh, but I might be maybe a disadvantage. That's not a very convincing. Yeah, he's not buying it. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This is, this is a story. <laughs> Somebody else maybe want to cover for me here? Maybe you try to... I'm going to... I'll try to persuade him. They are by retired. I mean, he fell. Uh... I'm gonna persuade. Actually, Har Harley was a nefarious uh, thief, and uh, he faked our justice for stealing supplies meant for good people. Stop. He's like, so Polance hasn't been getting these to supplies. Yeah. And now Harley's dead, and you guys are taking his place? No, just the weirdo in the hood. I'm a music man. Administrative tasks. 
Uh, he wants to know why uh, why he should uh, unload goods if the goods haven't even been getting to Poe Lance. Where have they been hmm? going? Where have the goods been going? They were stolen by bandits, dude. All right, roll insight. Anybody can roll it. Everybody, anybody. It's an insight, insight. All right, so Barmus has just uh, become aware that the goods that they've been uh, trafficking for years, like maybe even like decades, haven't been going to Poe Lance. So this whole time that uh, their city's been uh, convinced that the that Po Lance has been rebuilding because of what Harley's been telling them, uh, he just found out. You guys just told him that was a lie. So he is really on. He's really on edge and on guard, and he's, uh, he doesn't look like he's going to unload any goods. You all realize. Well, hey, does, I mean, what, what does he care? We just bring him the, we, we pay him money. What's he give a shit where it goes? Well, most of it has been a relief effort. It's not. It's more than uh, trying to get Poland to rebuild. I mean, like they do get paid, but it's in. Uh, it's been a much fairer price. And the fact that you just buried That's all like Farley's gold. Well, I don't know. Right, well uh, them, you not giving us anything will not uh, help. Obviously, will obviously not help. Like we should, I want to explain to him that pulled by a rat king who's now dead. So like, wait, I, I got a plan, guys. They eat rats, and there's a ghost lady there, and the guy who makes pickles recently learned how to do it. Like I'm trying to explain to him the dire of the situation that Crispin Glover was the closest thing to royalty they had, <laughs> and he's gone. Now. And what we could do is we could say that one of his men can come with us to make sure the goods are justified. But then we'll kill that guy. And we'll just keep doing that over and over. And <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll catch on after. The first uh, one. Maybe, maybe if not the first, the second. We'll say that that guy would decide to stay because it was so lovely. And then we'll just keep doing that. I think it'll work a couple times, but not many times. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't you appoint one of your bandit people, regional governor, then take, go, have all of the ship go with them to Polance to investigate it, and then while they're gone, we'll seal the ship. Uh, these men are all incompetent. They can't possibly be regional governor. What? None of these men can possibly handle being the regional governor. Well, I mean, we have to be able to lie, dude. I mean, Roland used to run a uh, like the a shop, like he used to sell weapons and armor. So I mean, he's got at least a little bit of a mind for business. So yeah, or there's... <laughs> yeah, no, hold on, dude. You're missing the obvious choice. The fucking uh, the carpenter, bro. That dude, he's like, he runs legitimate businesses. He's been in jail this whole time. His pride is uh, a shitter. He's probably happy to be on the rule of place now. He is refusing to leave his cell. Since, uh... Perfect! <laughs> <laughs> He'll be emperor in his throne. Room. How about that? <laughs> what do you, what do you want to... <laughs> his throne. Put it back. <laughs> not, we're not discussing this in front of these people. 
why don't I? Well, I can stay with this ship, and then they can send a guide for your first plan. But you're not going to kill him. You're going to show him that we're going to give stuff to the village. I like Stefan's plan better. <laughs> That's probably the first time that you've ever uttered those words. <laughs> Ren God, do you have a plan? What's Ren God? What's your what's your input here? What's your, what do you think we should do? Do you want to lure them away one at a time and kill them off, hoping that they don't catch no. on? No. Do you want to appoint a governor? I'm gonna fucking out throw a fireball. Uh... I'm throwing a fireball. If that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I so like leaving very. You're gonna attack the only uh, the only boat in. Uh... We can. I can swim. I think we give the week no governor. I think time. I think we should they leave Mim here because every idea he's he has is everything. off the fucking wall. But he's the leader. He's got a whole <laughs> he's got a whole posse here. Oh, had a terrible plan. We're all gonna stay and make them leave. That's what we're gonna do. Then you have to pick somebody to be regional governor, dude. Uh, yeah, the Kuiper is gonna be. The carpenter's not <laughs> leaving his fucking cell. Oh my god. Why don't you go know? on the cell and send his men in his place? <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Let's, here's the thing. Let's break all the rules and make Carly. I, I the rules. Uh, oh Let me god. go in there. I'll keep intimidating the carpenter until he goes mad, and then he'll be the. The mad emperor of this of this island now. What do you think? Well, what if we can't get him back? We're just gonna kill him. We don't want to tie. We're him. back. Wait. Let me find my madness table. Like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and try to intimidate the carpenter guy into. Uh, leaving his throne room. Does he need to leave, though? We just need to persuade him to be regional governor, right? Yeah, but you need to. We need to. Like, we need to persuade him to be regional governor, but we need to convince the other the other bandits to accept him. Just have him have the title. Well, I mean, the bandits are in pretty strong support of. Uh, in pretty strong support of Mim, but right now you're you're also trick. kind of threatening I mean, their lifestyle. I mean, uh, Welch is on board because he, uh, he's he been funneling goods to uh, Poland anyways. So, Welch is on board. Okay, somebody go back and convince uh, the climate that he needs to at least pretend to be weak to the government. Which of the... Well, if the bandits... Here's the thing, though. Uh, it's a matter of survival for the other bandits to accept this because right now they're, they're the jigs up. If they try to rule as, as uh, thief kings now, they're going to get killed by the ship folk. I've decided to join the ship folk. <laughs> and be one of them. <laughs> what? You're, this plan is taking too long. I've just. I'm siding with them and that you took me captive. Um. All right. Well, that is... can you make up a fucking yes. decision? Just do it. Go back to him and try to convince him. Okay, I'm going back to. Uh, I'm not going to be able to go back there because it's a different location. But let's just say I am over there. Just talking roll to it. The guys. That's fine. Roll it. All right. I'm talking to the to Carpenter B. I'm like, hey, dude. Uh, we're gonna make this place legit, and you're gonna be the regional governor for Emperor Mim. Don't be a bitch. Get up, get up here. We're gonna be friends now, and as a token of our friendship, I will play your song Jeez. to show you that I mean you. Oh man, look at that fucking sick song, dude! I just did straight up Mozart shit. I had a full, like, flames. full orchestra backing me somehow. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, 
you did this <laughs> this fine job of brainwashing Doyle, like tearing him down by scaring him in, uh, into like this broken human, and then you come back and just bring him back up with your incredible song. So he's all for it. He's he's uh he's totally been brainwashed into uh being a a governor of sorts. So so he he comes back with you. I'm not gonna go grab his token at the at the moment, but he comes back with you to the boat to uh, okay. discuss this new arrangement. And uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean the bone of it now. This is the legion of happening. Now we're gonna set up a legitimate government to so the supplies will get there. He's like, he explains that he'll have to uh, go over, he'll have to go back to town and uh, uh, go over this new idea before he can uh, confirm anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Go back to town and do the situation and listen to all, the carpenter will explain everything when you get there. I mean, there we should go <laughs> Re the regional governor will keep the local system in line. Okay. Moth. <laughs> that's, his, that's his title. He's Grand Moth. Obviously, that's the only. That's the only that makes sense. It's Grand Moth. Grand Moth Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so are you so are you guys going back with this ship, or are you gonna stay here? We're gonna stay here and make sure everything's uh, you know safe. Okay, the road can be dangerous though, so I would take the men with you. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> up! Oh my god, you're not gonna convince them for, to leave the fucking ship with us. This plan is fucking stupid. Just have him believe. Just, why do you have to fuck over everybody? Just fucking legitimately do the deal. What, you, what the fuck are you thinking long term? Well, I'm thinking let's bury wait, them in the fucking the... ground long term. Wait, 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 wait. Ryan, hold on. I want to hear Ryan out here. Your plan is... That you want to legitimately establish a regional governorship under Grandma Doyle. Well, and if we're gonna go, if we're gonna, if we're gonna go over all this shit, we might as well just fight him and kill him and take the boat. Like it's gonna take longer to go over this fucking fake diplomacy than we could just kill him. We, I mean, we the can. Men. There's fucking five. Once we them. establish a plan, we can we can kind of speed things along and you know like we can do a little montage fast forward deal or deal like the important thing is to get everybody on the same page where they're they're all focused on the same goal i mean my my idea is to uh we need to get each of your characters working towards something that their character is interested in mim thinks that it'll make a great story that uh this carpenter from nothing lived in a cell for Years and years and years, and then he all of a sudden he becomes uh, a governor or a grand moth, grand moth Doyle of uh, Poe Lance. Grand moth Doyle. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm cool with the grand moth Doyle, the Doyle plan, but I think the let's try to trick them to get off the boat with the grand moth Doyle plan is fucking not gonna work. All right, all right, all right let's split the difference. Let's split the difference then. That's what I'm saying. Let's convince them that this is a legitimate government, and then uh, we will just leave with them when they leave. Because my character's motivation is get this motherfucking tattoo off my arm before Ghost Lady kills me. Yeah, and to do that, we got to get this fuck up the darling because you anymore. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, Vim. You're not thinking this through. Sailing is hard, and none of us are skilled sailors. Yeah, we got we got to capture one of them alive. No, we got it. You, it takes more than one skilled sailor to make a ship happen. So let's just establish our legitimate government with Doyle and his his bandit 
capos, and then we'll just move on. Doro is a woos. He knows nothing about government. He's a fucking carpenter. He's gonna fall apart as soon as get back to town. So the plumber, he's Doyle the carpenter, and also Grand Moff. Grand Moff Doyle carpenter. <laughs> he's, he's high on Dandy's performance. He believes he can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I straight up I I gave him R. Kelly. I believe I can fly, dude. He he's capable of anything at this point. And then he keyed on him. Alright, so you uh you convince Barnabas to uh to come have a meeting with Doyle. Yeah, we did it. But he's leaving everyone to protect the ship. Because he understands that the ship is top priority. And uh, he says if he doesn't come back, he, told, he tells them to drop anchor and get out of there. So. So wait. Who, or not drop anchor. He's leaving he's everyone on the ship? Yeah. He's coming he's back to meet Doyle. To meet Doyle in his... Doyle, do you want Doyle to like be leave his cell and like make it look he lives in Harley's hut? Is that is that like kind of where you want to go, or you just want to have him meet him in the cell and uh, come see his fancy toilet? Uh, it's probably better if he meets him outside and greets him like all good men do in the courtyard. We never cleaned up his dead body. That would make sense. And his Right. You want you want to send someone to go go ahead a little bit and uh, clean things up. I'm gonna go clean up the bodies. I think it's important that we show them uh, the severed head on a spike of Harley to show them that there's no justice for thieves around here. Okay, yeah. I like that. I say we can swing. We can swing that. Oh, I didn't send you guys back there, did I? Uh, what's the cartoon that does the do -do 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 and sends you to the new place? What, like John, Batman, Super John? Super Friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that that's what I did here. To this Super Friends transition. Yeah. All right, well, um, I was looking pretty leaderly. Where's Grand Moff Doyle? He's in Harley's hut. Oh, oh Doyle rules. Oh, yeah. I spent too much time on that to uh, not do anything, but Mim go in there to say he's not sleeping. So we're going to have this. Talk in here. Right, so, so everybody crowd in. So uh, we we should capture this guy, right? Well, if he doesn't return alive, then the uh, ship uh, the uh, sh ship takes off the. <laughs> We bargain with his life. He knows that his crew is loyal. So, but I'm mean, wondering, are you do, are you doing this right now? Are you threatening him? No. All right. Who are we missing? All right, Ringa and Dandy. We need them in here. Grab Danny. I'll, I'll go ahead, and, Danny. I'm gonna put you right beside uh, Doyle because you're his right hand man. Because he's your puppet. Yeah, I am. We've been through a lot, he and I. It's like Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> Dandy and Doyle. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
What'd you say? What'd you say, man? I couldn't hear you. It sounded like you, you were in a fishbowl. I don't understand what the long term plan, plan here is. What is this supposed to accomplish? We're going to gain the trust of Barnabas, and then he's going to give us travel to another island. Yeah. That, that's my Once understanding of your plan. Yeah, we just had to convince him for long enough that Dora was actually somehow capable. Of we just have to. We just have to convince him that we're better for Poe Lance than Harley was, and then that should be good enough. Because we are. I think. I think uh, Grand Moff Doyle is going to be better for Poe Lance than Harley ever was. Okay. So we're actually going to. We're actually going to leave these poor people under the rule of, of Doyle. I well, think we're under the rule of a fucking tyrant's bandit before. What's it, what does it matter? Well, wow. it's Trump's all Doyle, dude. Does, it, does it fucking matter? And I'm Doyle. Doyle, the fucking moron. Okay, your, your, your performance is not going to last pretty good with wood. <laughs> yeah, Doyle yeah, what if he built rebuild the, the town. With his carpentry. Yeah. He's going like to he's gonna establish himself as a leader by working as the people. You know, he's, he's a... He's gonna really gonna be at He's the, gonna rise to the occasion. He's salt of the earth. He's a man of the people. Yeah, man of the people. Motherfucker. <laughs> All right. What, what are we what are we doing? Do we need to do any more convincing that Doyle's legit? Yeah. Hold on, I need to turn that light on. I'll uh So the meeting uh, meeting goes pretty well. Uh, you, you're able to uh, kind of talk on Doyle's behalf, and so he just kind of gives the affirmatives and nods, and he's looking real proud doing it. He's still riding high off uh, the performance. See, look at that. Doyle's doing a good job. Doyle is going to make Polance great again. He's the best. He only has the best things. He'll make them known for their wood and pickles. They're gonna, it's gonna be huge. Maybe he'll make a wooden pickle. Yeah, a giant a wooden, wooden pickle. pickle statue. Are you gonna? Uh, is, come to is this one of the things pickle. that you wanna get him to uh, do as his, one of his first acts as uh, Grand Moff Doyle is to go back and build a giant monument to the pickle? I since we brought the Polance pickle back. Maybe a yeah. better idea might be to start actual logistics of getting supplies to people who need them in the town. Alright. Barnabas, <laughs> Barnabas likes where your head's at. <laughs> Could an army of rats, have we forgotten? What, well, what, what about Welch? You just was left him in the, the street. One that was the... Welch was taking uh, feed to the uh, chicken tower. So his father could raise chickens and have a really good egg business. Well, two chickens. Well, there you go. We have Welch be in charge of the the feed the to help the chickens. That'll give some food for the townsfolk. So he's going to be your, your secretary of agriculture then. Yeah, there you go. See, Welch. Welch's grape juice. It fits perfectly. Well, I mean, no, it doesn't. Does that even make sense? It's, it's like grapes and chickens. Substance. Well, should probably be quartermaster because obviously he has the ability to, uh, to you know, smuggle things in and, and keep track of supplies. All right. Well, this is really Doyle's. All he gets to pick, right? I mean, Doyle's the grand moth. Well, I mean, I mean, you guys can kind of give him these ideas, but really, uh, 
I'm assuming you guys will be on your way, and you'll have to just come back and see what's happened and what has hap transpired. <laughs> the, in the town going to be Doyle's rule. Sunday. <laughs> it's it's going to be fucking Mad Max, dude. <laughs> but uh, you've convinced Barnabas that uh, the the idea, the plan is sound, and uh, and Poe Lance is finally going to be back on its feet. You know, like it's uh he he's he's a little floored that it's been starved for so long because uh he's been in charge of uh this route like this trade route and dealing with harley and uh and okay um what am i supposed to do with this chest it's up to you it's just a chest can i open it i'm going to sure. open it Okay. Roll investigate. <laughs> it's not like a mysterious chest. It's just a chest. So you open it, and uh, you see that there's a... Uh, it's definitely like Harley Supplies, but it, you notice that there's a... Uh, there's like a entertainer's kit. Like It seems like a, there's like almost like costumes in there. And uh, there's a, a couple of random like... Uh, trinkets, uh, a couple extra daggers, and then on top there's this like uh, the silver chalice that kind of that it kind of stands out to you like you know like of all the things in the chest they all seem like they just kind of this has been uh, taken out you know it looks like fresh cleaned it looks it looks really used uh, I want to take it okay. I reach inside the chest and pull up the chalice. Okay. Uh, add a chalice to your inventory. And then I ask... Yeah. And then I ask Dandy to come over here. Why? Come over here. I Why? found something. I found I something. Know. Dandy, I found something. What is it? You can tell me from there. No, there's a wall. Don't you see the wall? You gotta come around... <laughs> Over here, because there's a wall. Just yell around the wall. It's not a big building. Okay, fine. I don't want to embarrass you in front of the others. <laughs> it, what? In this chest, I found some entertainer's clothes. And I, I I thought that you might want to use them for your performance. Uh, some clothes for entertainers. I mean, he was a dwarf, so a you might be able to use some of it. But There's a woman's wig. I thought it might... Yeah, okay. Suits you better. I'll allow it. Why? What's wrong with my hair? Well, it might help hide your... You can... Well, Jessica I'll, just be a dude. I'll be a dude with the fan of the opera mask and what, fucking Fabio hair? <laughs> I'll be a fucking clown. I don't want to stand out. That's the opposite the of what I want to do. All right, fine. I'm going to put on the wig, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, See, it covers your face perfectly. So, Dandy, you can add a wig to your inventory. <laughs> the wig might come in handy someday. What if we need to, to, to disguise? <laughs> to make a disguise. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. And, by, by the way, Dandy, I found this silver chalice. Does it, does it ring a bell? Actually, I might ask Mim. Hey, Mim. Yeah. Do you you do you have good history checks, right? Yeah. Think about this silver chalice I found and or does it ring a bell with your past? I hope Barnabas is just chilling with Doyle, by the way. Oh, I guess not. Uh John. So so Mim, as you like you take the chalice to hold it. You, you get a quick flash as though you've seen it before, but that's it. So what's the next step for Barnabas? He's going to take you back to the ship. Or he's going to go back to the ship. All right. I'm assuming you guys are going to jump on board with him. Hey. Yeah, we need... We we should. It should be easy to convince him to let us come with him because we we blew the lid off this whole 
Polance conspiracy. Yeah, that's mine. That's kind of where my thinking's at. Hey, Rengar, have you ever seen this chalice before? <laughs> holy fuck, who cares about the chalice? Jesus Christ. What if it's the Holy Grail, Stefan? I mean, why would the Holy Grail be banned on shithole islands? Huh? And also, why would there be a Holy Grail in this world? There is no Jesus here. I thought somebody was like Jesus, wasn't Isn't Doyle like Jesus? He's a carpenter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you're gonna instill like these religious Maybe I'm Jesus. You found me out on a rock. Oh jeez. Well oh, time yeah. to go on the rest of our adventure, guys, because we still have to get this tattoo off of me from the evil lady. Uh, Grand Moff yeah, Doyle. We got everything. We got to All right. So, can everybody see this map? The big map, the world map. Well, I mean, it's not. It's not the world map. The world map is. <laughs> it's it's the the local. So this uh this island here, the world. This island here is the Polance Island. Uh, you may, may recall that uh, you landed somewhere up here in your burning boat. You trek through this forest. Uh, convinced deers to kill themselves and you moved on past the the witch's hut and into the town where there actually was a witch um, so over here in this thick forest is uh, this is where Varus had his uh, his just like his elvish like grove all the worshippers of Eldath and when the world shattered, uh, he ended up trapped on the same island as the uh, orc city of Dalturge, which is the orcish city where um, Dandy is from, and uh, grew up with his father with a bunch of test subjects. Yeah, I can hold him for a minute. And uh, up here is the island where Rengar monastery was that he left because his uh, his mentor there uh, oh man your hands are cold kiddo his, his mentor there uh, died of natural causes and he was went off to meditate at their favorite fishing hole and that's when he was picked up on the boat. Mim, who had been traveling, uh, he's already been on the boat. So, so Dalturge is uh, further south on this island. And I'm pinging right. I'm pinging here on the right side, but it's it's further south. Uh, the grove that was destroyed. Oh, jeez! We just took the arrow key off again. So, and this, oh my goodness. let's go. Alright, so, and then this city is the, on the far left, is the city that Barnabas has been trading from, so, uh, the path has been, uh, it, it took a while for them to, like, to get to Polance because, uh, like, with how the world shattered the uh, the different islands, it really it broke the road in pieces. So this is like a major road that went through Polance. Oh, jeez! As part of a, a major trading and travel route. So. Uh, <laughs> So, and he explains how the, all the waters are pretty rocky, you know, like, because everything didn't come apart 
smoothly, so there's bits of land through everything, so I didn't mark all the little outcroppings and stuff that you need to know. Alright, so this city down here. I hope it's some demons, dude. Wait, what, what's happening? This, well, this is the city that he they plan he plans to take you to. Uh, another important thing to know is that so this island on the east side, that's where the orcs uh, started uh, started their campaign. So they've slowly been spreading their influence. And Dandy, you would know that uh, the only reason why they found this Elvish Grove that's like really hidden is because the island is really thin and narrow. So they pretty much were just exploring the whole island and it just so happened that the grove was still was uh, on the same island. So that's why they were able to find it. And with their boats, they've just slowly been expanding out. So like, um, so they went to this grove and then they were sailing, they were sailing this direction uh, in order to, like, see where the next lands are that they were, uh, you know, going to travel to, and that's when you were, you caught their ship on fire and made it crash on Polance. So, they hadn't yet reached Polance, but their influence, uh, was on the verge of discovering it. The work influence grows. Well, um, I'm gonna. I want to ask uh, Captain Stabbin Pen Penny Whistle. Stabbin Barnabas. <laughs> no, not Captain Stabbin. It is first mate Pounder. <laughs> um, I want to ask Captain Balrog or whatever anything about uh, what's the what's the little little halfling we're looking for? His name again. Charles. Charles. I was thinking about uh, Charles the Halfling that invented the Polant song. So he has, he knows the song well, and uh, he he knows that the Halfling uh, has frequented uh, the city of uh, Rakasha, and. Uh, but um, he doesn't get to he doesn't go out as much as he used to to shows but Rakasha will be a place where I'm gonna go find a way to pick up his trail though probably no, oh, shit, good. All right, let's go to Raksha Shack. Radio Shack. We're going to Radio Shack. <laughs> All right. What? Turn on the boat. Do, do, do. Um. Is it going fast? I hope we don't get attacked by Hopi. It's not going fast. My what? It's not going fast. They're, they're still getting ready to go. We haven't even left yet? We have to get out of here before Grandma Doyle loses control of the island. <laughs> um, on. You want me to play a song? <laughs> right, guys. Oh, oh is it not one? Oh my no. gosh. Uh, <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> I, sang, I took out my concertina. So rattled from my experience trying to make uh, what's his make uh, Doyle into a grandma. I couldn't remember the words to my favorite song from back home. So I started singing uh, an old classic of uh, Vulgar Tribe. 
I did it all for the nookie. Come on, nookie. <laughs> All right, so uh, you really slowed down the efforts uh, of getting the ship ready to go. Yeah. Um, Varys, go ahead and roll a religion check to uh, to pray to the goddess that you'll have smooth sailing, smooth waters. What? Did oh I, did my I, did God! I play so bad, I have to get a god. No. Uh, okay, so Raga rolls a nat twenty, and. Uh, and uh, so the this uh, this <laughs> uh, this fog rolls in, and it seems to settle with a very clear path, and uh, and, it, and it seems like as though the uh, the winds are blowing like the winds are blowing in this direction to follow this path. Looks like we got ourselves a waypoint. All right, so Let's that bitch. Barnabas explains that it's not the way back to. Uh, it's not the way back to Rakasha. We gotta. We have to go with it, though, right? The wind's blowing us. Yep. Wait, what? No, but no, we gotta go to Radio Shack because it's, it's too uh, late. It's too late. It's what the gods want. This is, this is what the gods want. One never has spoken. Fuck the gods. All right. With that attitude. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take you guys back to the world map. Let me know when you're there, because I know it takes a little while to load. I'm there. Alright, so... Alright, so you're sailing, and it's actually... You're sailing, uh... Southeast. And, uh... The wind seemed to calm, and, uh take you just off of this coast. And, uh, there is a, so there's actually, like, the east side of this island is actually a like, very lush forest. And, uh, like, you, as you look towards the shore, the uh, grass actually, uh, gets a little bit grainer, so you know where you're supposed to, uh, head where you're supposed to go. Hey guys, going? Are you gonna follow it? What the? Sorry, are we on the? Did we land? Yeah. So. Uh, or make so, landing. Yeah, you you got you got as close as you could get with the the size vessel you have without there being a port. Um, so. Uh, the, Barnabas Barnabas agrees to wait for you because he's a little uh, he's a little startled or he's a little rattled by the whole uh, weather experience. Varys, you're very inclined to he's go. He's not superstitious, but he is a little stitious. Yeah, he's a, he's slightly stitious. I guess from we go on the side quest. Yeah, I'm going. I have damage on me from a witch, and I need to go on that quest, but. Sure, let's go on the forest island. I'm sure we'll find exactly what we're looking for. I All hope right. the little guy's there, just to shut you the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, so you get to the land, and uh, you seem to be walking through this forest, and it's just like, it, as you walk, it just seems to be getting thicker and thicker and thicker, and like, uh, uh, it's a bit of a trudge, but um, there always seems to be like, enough of a path to, uh, you know, like, the leaves seem to be parting a little bit, and, uh, there's a very clear cut way through, and then you arrive at this well. Can I pray at the well? 
right, so this so this well, as you walk up to it, uh, you notice that it's like a, a very, it's it's very pristine. Um, you see a statue of Eldath uh, off to the side, and her, her arms are her arms are mostly together, and uh, she seems to be like looking down in front of her. Um, there's this uh, there's this pile of uh, it looks like brush, and then on this side here there's a there's a torch. There's like a like a, in the ground it's a lit torch. So we're supposed to light it up. So it's our oh. This uh, this should I do like a? Can I do a check to know if I like? Because I should know what the hell this means. Assume or should I pray? What kind of check you want to do? You want to look at the the um, statue or the yeah, brush or the I'll well? Do, uh, would it be insight or perception? Looking at the like the brush pile, it would probably be like a, a nature sort of thing. If you're if you're looking at like the statue, it'll probably be probably insight or maybe religion. Probably yeah, insight though. That was bad. Uh, so it's it, the statue seems to be looking at the brush pile um, as almost as though it's waiting for something to happen. Hey, Mim. Oh, no. No one light blink. The, the statue will move. Mim, light, I want you to light this brush pile. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, do it. But wait, 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 wait. All right, I'm going to light the brush pile with the torch that's beside it. Okay, uh, so you, you and uh, you go to the brush pile, and uh, uh, as it starts to burn, uh, the the goddess starts like the statue of the goddess starts to cry, and uh, so there's this uh, so so the goddess of water in groves. Is is crying that you are burning this brush? Uh, everyone, roll perception. 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 Mm. All of us? Bye -bye, just yeah, yeah, everybody. Uh, All right, so... Uh, I, I rolled one. All right, so, Dandy, you're... Uh, so, as you go to this... Uh, this uh, as it's burning, you notice that there's all these little... Um, uh, flowering sections that look like they were just starting to bud and they st slowly start to wither and the uh, the brush pile it, like it, like it lights up and then uh, it instantly goes out and you notice that the water uh, it, it doesn't seem to be moving correctly like you would expect like you're seeing ripples but they don't seem to be like natural ripples Well, you make my way to bring that. The sea monster, I gotta get out of there. You're moving from the outside in. It's it, it appears to be moving uh, around, like it says, almost like a like a funnel a sort of thing, like a, yeah, whirlpool. That's what I wanted. I say we throw them in and see what happens. 
Dead. Dead. How did that happen? <laughs> that was Sorry. I thought you were dropping it. Oh, yeah. I want to go into the water. Okay. Yeah. I want to know where to go at. Well, I feel like there's got to be. I worship the water. It's not like a fast whirlpool, is it? It's just a light whirlpool. Yeah, it's a light whirlpool. Okay, you All can right. go in. I, I'm, I'm going to take off my armor. Okay. And then strip down and I'm going to enter the water to see if I can find the cause. All right, so as you go in, um, uh, you notice that it's uh, it's like way deeper than uh, you expected. Like when you look at it from the outside, it looks like it's pretty shallow. Um, but once you get into the water, uh, you notice that it's very deep. And um, uh, so, so Dandy... Uh, Renga and Mim roll initiative. What? Roll initiative. Oh no. What did I do? All right, so the 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 water uh so various um Varys goes into the pool, and the, the water seems to be, like, circling him. And uh, as it's circling him, it seems as though, like, a head starts to come out from the water. But it's essentially water itself. And uh, it goes by, and it, like, it does this fling, and it's on file. And, and it, uh, it's... Preparing to attack, but uh, Varus, you're on. Uh, so, Wait, the water's attacking them. There's the, it's a there's this the water there's a something in the water that is it's a, like a water elemental essentially. It's a, it's made of water, but it has like this similar. It's like a serpent sort of style but it's uh you can't really it doesn't have a definitive shape because it's always shifting because it's water the all right so i roll an 11. Gyarados. All right, uh, so Ragai, while you're there, roll. Oh, you already rolled perception, didn't you? You say perception? Hold on, let's see what your roll was. Oh, you rolled a nine. All right, so uh, the this water scene, this water elemental seems uh, uh, ready to attack, and uh, but it doesn't focus on uh, Dandy, um, but. Well, what should I do? Should I try to soothe it with my music? 
uh, if you want that to is be there, your action, I mean, you could. So. What? Hey, Kevin, is is the uh, is the thing still on fire? I put the fire out. When no, I put the water. Yeah, it put the fire out. But uh, so um, so uh, while you're in the pool, you have this. Uh, um, you, you, like it feels as though you're in Eldath's water, and uh, the water. Oh shit! We fucked up. No, and and uh, it seems as though this thing is protecting it. Um, but as, since you entered the pool, you you feel like it, you feel like as though it's the right thing to do, and. Uh, um, you. Indeed, you gotta get baptized. Come with me and get baptized. What? And as you look, we gotta you, baptize you. We gotta, you, you have so, to be baptized. So you look, you look down at the water, and with how deep it is, uh, you can't help but feel that it's a, uh, it's some sort of uh, test of faith. It's a what? No, what'd you say? Test of faith. Oh, dandy. So. Hey, right. Take off your clothes and join me, brother. So, I'm just going to walk away. It's stuck in the water. It can't do shit. Um, Alright, so it attacks dandy. What? Ugh. I said Mim should light the fire. I mean, like, uh, it seems, it, like, you're not wrong in the sense that it seems to be bound to the water, but it's it's got quite a long reach. So... Yeah, that hits. All right, so it it reaches out of the water and uh, wraps around you, and uh, uh, roll a strength check. Alright, so you take 12 damage. You take 12 damage as it like wraps around you and squeezes you, but when it, it tries to pull you closer to the pool, uh, you're able to break free. Alright. That's fine, huh? Almost dead. You're almost incapacitated. So when you hit when you hit zero hit points, you become like unconscious. You have to take your hit points negative in order to like insta die. Like if you're in that if you're like zero hit points isn't like a death. That might be different from uh your other games that you're playing. Um, it's almost... It's a KO. Yeah, but I mean, the, like, Varus has ways of reviving you. Um, uh, so, Dandy, what do you want to do? Uh, I seem to be restricted to the water, like, but it has... Uh, obviously, it has pretty long... Yeah, um, I guess I'm going to try to do a performance to try to calm it down. 
Uh, water element doesn't even need to I guess I could try to intimidate it. I don't know if it's like a. Well, the only other option I have is to try to run as far away from it as I can. <laughs> That's about all I can do. I mean, maybe I can run on water. Oh, pretty much nothing I can do, I guess, because I can't. I can't sing at it. I can't intimidate it. I just have to run. All right, so you can do a. If you do a, a disengage action, uh, that'll be your best bet. Like, so you can do disengage, so nothing can take attacks of opportunity, and then you'll be able to. Uh, okay. You can move your movement away from it. Well, what else should I do? Should I hack it? I mean... Alright, so, uh... All right, I guess I'll attack it. I don't know. All right, roll to hit. What do I roll to hit again? Uh, it should be your rapier. I mean, or you can just do a, uh, dexterity check. I believe it's the same. Alright. That's a hit. Roll damage. Let's see if I can get a, uh... Oh, oops. They did the wrong thing. There. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull this in. It's not exactly what it looks like. But it'll give you something to look at. Did you roll damage? Sorry. Yeah, it's eight. Piercing, right? Huh? Piercing, right? Alright, so Varys, you're, uh, uh, you, you, you see this blow against, uh, um, Dandy, and, uh, uh, you have, you feel responsible. Uh, Renga, what do you want to do? Can I just move far away? Yeah. That thing just messed up, Dandy. I do not want to. All right. Do you want to want to take an action, like yell at or something? Because you just moved. You can throw your club at it. Throw my club, it'll get lost in the pool. <laughs> Volume to pick it up. It's pretty deep. 
got the fucking cement. I'm treading water. Uh, right, so there's uh, you're you're so you're constantly you're just like looking around trying to like figure out what you could possibly do and uh, uh, you you look downward and uh, the pool is amazingly clear. You're very surprised on how far down you can see, and uh, it it looks as though there's almost like uh, like handholds or like footholds like up the you know. Uh, uh, roll insight. Varus. Hang on, I gotta find it. Okay, uh, you, so, th these, these, these holes in these hands things, you see around the edges, uh, it, they look as though they, uh, are for if the well is dry, and at the like at the very bottom, you 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 see some sort of, uh, like you see some sort of like box at the bottom, um, and you, it really feels like a, a a test of faith. Like like you're you like you you're you don't seem to be the target of the water uh, elemental, and you, like it's accepted you this old um this this is some sort of test i am going to create or destroy water okay or do which, i get to which are you going to do and the water in the well Which hopefully kills the water spirit. Probably more than ten gallons of water. Wow. Huh? How do you more than ten gallons of water? Yeah, ten gall ten gallons isn't going to be a lot. All right, then I'm going to create water. <laughs> <laughs> this is so and <laughs> make it rain. Isn't this going to the reach of the monster? Yeah, but I want the monster to know that we're here to help with the water. I just stabbed it with a sword, you dick. Well, I, well why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> because it almost killed me. He's, well, you should. I told you to be baptized, and you didn't listen. And if we destroy the statue and destroy the monster? So, Mim, what do you want to do? Well, am I like, am I supposed to like climb down this, like, swim in this well to get to the bottom? I, you said there's like a hatch or something. Yeah, you, you, you believe uh, you. You firmly believe that uh, you need to uh, to go to be one with the water. And Other swing. than that, I might. If you, wait, what? Be what with the water? Be one with the water. And you tr like uh, so. You, it's... Be the Little Mermaid. Yeah. Okay. So. So you you start to dive down and you, there's these uh these these holds that uh they're obviously for going back up it seems but uh like you you're able to use them and s swim down and you as you're swimming uh it it seems almost endless like as you swim like it it almost feels as though like the closer you get like the further it, out of reach it is and uh yeah. And uh, you get down there, and you hit a point. You're at your point where uh, you just have enough. You you know that you have just enough air left 
that you um, can make it back to the surface before s starting to drown. Do you want to continue downward or do you want to go back to the surface? Continue downward. Alright, so almost immediately after you decide to continue downward, this box seems to, to be closer. It seems like you're, you're covering more and more ground. And uh, you get to it and it's just this, this small um, box. Uh, what do you want to do? Can I can I grab it? Yeah, you can grab it. You got it in your hand now. I'm gonna. Okay, I grab the box. Where do I is open it? it? Or... Huh? I mean, you it's can't. Get in the box. Don't open it. <laughs> you can't. You can't make it back to the surface without. Uh, not not necessarily drowning, but you're going to be incapacitated underwater, which is not a. I mean, you'll be able to get close to the surface. Wait, so are you saying I'm drowning? Well, I mean, I'm saying you have this box, but you can't make it back to the, the surface okay. before starting to breathe in water. And I can't open the box? You can open it if you want. Do you want to open it? Yeah, let's open it. All right, so... Maybe, maybe, this, maybe there's a scuba tank inside. So as soon as you open the box... Um, it, it seems like it, as though it was filled with like this this dirt, like this dust. But uh, as soon as it opens the the box, you can you can see that this dust starts uh, absorbing the water, and it, you can you can feel the water rushing past you, uh, absorbing like into this like dust. And so like uh, y you you look up. And Dandy and Mim and Renga all at the top, they can see the water level just draining, like the like from the top, and uh, and like after several seconds, like um, well, yeah, after several seconds, the uh, probably like thirty or so, like the the box, it's no longer filled with dust, but there are these actually roll a. Uh, a D four, or is it D four or is it D six? I think it's a D six. Roll a D six, Raga. All right, so inside there are so now the box there it's and there are six marbles inside like the like filling the size of this box and like you're completely soaked but the the well is down um, like at uh, foot level and the uh, the the water elemental seems to be gone and uh, you have this. Uh, uh, you, you you get this this feeling over you. It's almost like a, a voice, and it's uh, it's essentially saying like um, uh, you are you are worthy to uh, to wield uh, my water. Uh, and uh, Ooh, I got water marbles. Yeah. So so uh, so you, you gather that this was a you know this th like whatever this was that absorbed this water. Was considered a very dangerous, um, a very dangerous, uh, like Adam. element for, um, you know, for uh, like a goddess of water. But because uh, you passed this test of faith, uh, she believes that you are like worthy of like having it. So, so you have this this box of water marbles. Can I? Come up. Yeah, yeah, you can climb up. And and then to make Dandy not pissed. Oh, there you go. Hey, thanks, bro. <laughs> uh, 
high roll on D8? Yeah. What's your spellcasting modifier? Hey! Your spellcasting modifier would be what? Uh, your wisdom plus your wisdom? proficiency, I think? My wisdom's 18, but the... So it'd be a plus four. The four is what's in the box. Yeah. I think you get your proficiency well. bonus on top of that. But either way, it's at least twelve hit points. Seven, you get twelve back. What? You get twelve hit points. Oh shit, that's how many I lost. See? The God wills it. Praise Elda. <laughs> The Lord works in mysterious ways. Yes, he does. Okay. So, Danny, I feel like you should have asked the serpent what his name was. Maybe it was Charles. <laughs> Smack you with Charles. What, the fucking monster man? No, that wasn't Charles. <laughs> He could have been turned I don't into a water serpent. Charles is. I've been in his skin. I really hope Barnabas waited as well. Oh, I'll go down. Well, Barnabas is on the ship. Are you going back to the ship, or are you guys going to stay and keep worshipping uh, Eldath and praise her well? And... I'm going to back to the ship. I want to worship. I want to see if another water monster comes out. No. No more water monsters. You throw the, the marbles and make them out. Yeah, and the statue seems to have moved to like a more of an offering position. Oh. Okay, she's this is done here. <laughs> Can I take some water out of my pouch and pour it at the foot of the statue? Out of your pouch? <laughs> well, my, you know, I have like a water pouch, a little. Water skin? Water skin. Yeah, you don't want to pour it at the fetch you or you want to pour it on the brush? The brush. Alright, so you, so you pour water on the brush and it seems to uh, uh, soak it in and all these little buds like grow and they, they bloom into these beautiful flowers. Awesome. See that? That's all we needed to do was just... Pour some water on it. You told me to burn it in the first place, bro. <laughs> I was. I told no. That's not true. I told Mim to do it because I figured it was a trap. And then you said I'll do it, and you picked up the torch and did it. It's not my fault. Mim is never gonna be the one to put himself on the line for the team. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just gonna put us in horrible situations. Yeah. So so essentially, uh, you went to a. A, the goddess of uh, water and groves and went to one of her sacred groves and you caught it on fire. So... Accidentally. Accidentally. Something happened. But. Anywho. So you're back on the boat. Uh... Uh... Various, you can add a uh, you can add a, a box of water marbles to your inventory. Aren't there six of them? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Roll an arcana check. Uh, we'll find out. Okay. So. Uh, like you hold the marbles in your hand, and uh, you you get the impression that that like they're pretty sturdy, but um, uh, based on like what you witness and your understanding of mat like the water magic, uh, you feel as though if you were to like shatter one of these marbles, you would release uh, all the water that was trapped inside. Don't lose your marbles, Ryan. Throw one at the deck of the ship and drown us all. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. 
So, uh, so Barnabas is a little confused on uh, what the hell was that. You want to you want to say another oh, prayer, rag guy, before you uh, set sail again, or God? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, I'll play another song to help the guys get ready. All right. All right, that's not bad. There you go. Uh, I sing a, a, a I sing a song from my old uh, my old college days called "Kiss from a Rose." Maybe I have something to kiss a rose on today. Sounds good. So everyone's in good spirits, despite uh, you had to drain a little bit of water out of your concertina after that uh, that fight. <laughs> His song, there's mm -hmm. seals coming out of the water <laughs> to listen to it. Why? Okay. <laughs> That's dumb. Do you, do you want to no. do You want to go after? You want to just like. Oh, I was just joking. Do anything with that information? You want to uh, I'd, I'd just uh, catch one? Stefan should keep that in mind in the future if he needs to get seals. So I can tell him to kill himself? <laughs> seal team, go. You don't like seal? No, but like the deer I encountered supposed to kill itself. It went pretty well, I thought. My and that didn't work. My character's inspired to write the best in Batman. What'd you say? <laughs> I don't say? My character's inspired to write the best Batman script that has ever been written. <laughs> <laughs> That, is that for some reason, uh, Yeah, for some reason Tommy Lee Jones plays Two Face. I don't know why. That's a poor acting or a poor decision. Alright. So you start sailing east. Um or not east. Start sailing west. Sorry. And uh I have I have the downstairs of the boat to the right. You guys can see it. And uh, there's a there's a chef down there cooking you some food. What's his name? Boyardi. <laughs> it's it, is it's, it Long John Silver? Is he asking me if I have any cheese? Yes. I don't I don't have any cheese, Long John. Now he's chopping you up some carrots. I don't know what that sound is, but Alright. So <sighs> I'm gonna pack, put you back on the uh, the world map. Oh, did I do it, or did I just do me? Yeah, it just did me. Yeah, I'm still on the boat. Okay. All right, are we going to go to Rational Chat? Radagast? Rakasha. So you're on your way. To Chicago. Yeah. Rakasha. Rakasha. Shish kebab. Shock redemption. Chicago. 
right. Uh, so, so you make it part way. Um, you drop anchor and uh, you rest for the night. And uh, uh, Mim, you have uh, you have this uh, another dream where you are um, you, you're standing at the edge of this field, and uh, you can s well, it's not. There's like <clears throat> you can see that there are chimneys that have been knocked down, but uh, like you're standing there. With like a group of uh, of gnomes, and you have and there's all these um, like laborers like cutting down these trees and clearing out all this brush, and it's it's clearing out this this large field area. And uh, and Dandy, can you hear me? Yeah. So. Is he there? So, Dandy, the you have a dream as well. So you you uh, you're sleeping on the boat, and uh, you, the sound of the ocean. You 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 wake up and you're on a beach, and uh, you stand up, but you realize you're you're not as tall as you should be, and and you, you look at your hands. And they're they're halfling hands, and uh, and you see you see a guitar by your side, and you look down the beach and you see uh, Lorlada, she she's walking down in this elegant gown coming to you, and she she makes her way up. Charles, I've missed you so much. I I can't wait for us to be together again, and, uh, and it's it's a very passionate uh, dream on the beach. And uh, so you think it's a wet dream? Yeah, yeah. Because it's uh, by the water. Yeah, you you wake up and uh, your bunk is actually a little bit wet because uh, the <laughs> water uh, splashed in. Oh. Uh, <laughs> don't forget. Well, I presume she's been watching. She knows I'm not forgetting. I'm over here doing this shit all day long, trying to. I made a. I made fucking a Doyle grandma for the island. Well, I convinced Mim to. All right. All right. So uh, I'm gonna have you guys are uh, pulling up to the uh, makeshift port. And I'm going to call it there. Uh, I want to prep a little bit more Rakshasa before we go. But Mim, go ahead and roll a, uh, a history check to see uh, what you know of Rakasha. 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 <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Uh, you, you don't oh no! You, 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 you're quite. Con <laughs> What'd you say? He knows about as much about Rakasha as he knows about his childhood friend murdered. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you, you you tell them about how uh, you visited Rakasha, and uh, and it was actually. Um, it was um, full of all these giants, like it, like it was a it was a town of giants, and they they seemed to uh, they had humans as slaves, and you were really like it was really a strange town, but they seemed to be pretty friendly to gnomes. Um, it seemed to be just humans that they wanted to keep as slaves. So what the fuck? So we'll pick up next time <laughs> on uh, this town of giants. This town of giants? Yeah. This the show? No? They might be giants. <laughs> yeah, they might be little giants. He could be giants, or he could not remember anything, and he was just tripping balls. 
<laughs> it just seems likely you now. But only one way to find out is to go. But Mim seems pretty convinced that there's giants there. 